Today, a third candidate joined the run for Alabama's 5th District U.S. House seat. For Representative Mo Brooks currently holds that seat, but he announced that he's running for Senate. Way 31's Alexis Scott is live tonight after speaking with two of the three congressional candidates. Alexis, how are they feeling ahead of the Republican primary? Everyone seems to be ready to get to work and is excited to be a part of this process. Alabama's current Senator Richard Shelby has announced his retirement and Alabama's 5th Congressional District Representative Mo Brooks wants to run for his position. Now that leaves his House seat open to a group of fairly diverse people. Uh, I'm now in Huntsville again. Uh, Senator Shelby is going to be retiring, uh, having a strong voice back in Washington uh, to protect the jobs here, uh, protect the North Alabama values. Uh, that's critical. Casey Wardinsky announced his run for Congress just Thursday morning and says he wants to continue the work of former President Trump. The former Huntsville City School superintendent says he wants to protect unborn lives by stopping abortions, limiting federal control over K-12 education, and to protect the Redstone Arsenal from budget cuts that could have reduced the workforce by nearly 30 percent. Also on the ballot will be Andy Blaylock, an openly gay teacher who wants to be honest and transparent and his views of the country. He's currently a Huntsville City Schools teacher and runs a horse ranch with his husband in Athens. America is broad. There is no one narrow direction that we can go on any policy. Blaylock told me he's running for the open seat because he thinks America can get work done and work across the aisle instead of being extreme right or left making this more about America and less about party. Now, I do identify with the Republican Party, but I've implemented the slogan a little less extreme, a lot more productive for a reason. Blaylock says he hopes to work with all Americans while still focusing on major issues like social divides. Madison County Commission Chairman Dale Strong is also in the running. While he wasn't available for an interview Thursday, he, Wardinsky, and Blaylock all want the same outcome no matter what. Uh, I'm a guy that gets things done. Uh, sometimes that's pretty tough. Well, there's tough work to do in Washington right now, uh, and I plan to uh, be part of getting that work done. The Republican primary isn't until May 24th of 2022, but all the candidates say they hope you will get to know them just a little bit better. Now, I did reach out to the Democratic Party to see who they may announce on their side, but they told me they're actually going to leave that up to each specific candidate to announce it on their own. Reporting live in downtown Huntsville, Alexis Scottway, 31 News. And as Alexis mentioned, those congressional elections are set for November 8th, 2022. Also on the ballot, governor, U.S. Senate, state house and Senate, state Supreme Court, school boards, municipal government, and more. You can find more information about all three congressional candidates and about elections in general on our website, waytv.com.